Matthew Afel Stickman here and we are in episode 2 of Have You Ever series and in this video I'm gonna talk about have you ever had a horrible birthday for you guys and yes also yes I'm gonna talk about how to get rid of these problems yeah and yeah just like in the previous episode where you guys um, trying to or have or were trying to cheer up people that were feeling sad yeah okay yeah if you do I gave the tips to you guys and this time yeah have you ever had a horrible birthday for you guys if you had for that part yeah I'm gonna tell you how to get rid of the horrible birthday for you and but before that um, I'm gonna share something a little bit weird that's about birthdays okay okay so um, um not a month ago but it's about three months ago in 2022 um, I had that one weird dream and also stupid okay um, why well um, it's it's this uh, birthday person I don't know either boy or girl or I'll say dumb yeah um, they felt upset because of the gift doesn't look good and it's cringe because of my art style like oh come on seriously how come how come it looks cringe it looks better like this has never happened before and this might be the unusual dream I ever dreamed okay like like Birthday greetings is okay, is enough, okay? Birthday greetings and birthday gifts, okay? Yeah. And, um, yeah, since um, my birthday was on November 21st, well, two months ago, and people, well, almost people were busy because of exams, okay? And which is understandable because of my birthday uh, is on nearly exam for my friends there exam for the final examination okay yeah which is understandable and to be honest though I never forced anyone to draw or to make the gift for me okay I never do that and yes I literally never do that okay okay so um yeah that's the part that I want to share to you guys and now for the real thing um, how to get rid of horrible birthdays okay alright so here's what I'm gonna explain Okay, so birthdays are supposed to be happy occasions where celebrations, being spoiled, and positive reflection are all part of the day. However, some people feel a sense of dread every time a birthday approaches. For these individuals, the prospect of enjoying a birthday occasion are dimin diminished because they feel depressed, stressed, and anxious instead of feeling excited and positive about the day it means that people sometimes or occasionally feel depressed or anxious because you know just the uh, point of view um, they they slept in the middle of the night and then they had dreams because yeah, they had horrible dreams because of it. But don't worry. Feeling about that um, 
it's not real, okay? However, feeling about that part, okay? Because that's not real, okay? Don't worry, they will not forget about that. However, feeling depressed about an approaching birthday as a person ages is coming and having the birthday blues is a different emotion to depression that is continuous. Okay? Alright, symptoms of birthday depression. So, I'm gonna explain the birthday depression for the symptoms for this one. Before moving on, how to get rid of the birthday blues. A person with birthday depression might experience being tired and unenthusiastic in the days approaching their birthday, feeling sad and unable to figure out a reason why or shake off the sadness, feeling mildly paranoid and anxious beforehand and on the day itself, losing their self-confidence and or self-esteem, difficulty concentrating and inability to stop thinking about the approaching birthday, wanting to avoid contact with people including family and friends, Trouble falling asleep or waking in the night thinking about the birthday. Yeah, that one includes nightmares on your birthdays, okay? Losing their normal appetite. Having physical act physical aches and pains. Having thoughts of self-harm or suicide in severe cases as a birthday approaches. Yeah, suicide and self-harm. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem there. Like, um, nobody remembers someone's birthdays. Like, oh man, I feel bad for this person who feels upset. This person who feels upset because of no one remembers his birthday. Yeah. And some of the symptoms listed above are similar to those experienced by people with chronic depression. Okay guys, so tips to beat the birthday blues. Alright guys, so yeah, this tip, these tips might help you guys out to get rid of your birthday blues. Okay? Start the day night. Hey, day. Start the day or... I was gonna say start the day right. Sorry, not start the day and night. Well, they start the day right, okay? Trying to think positively right from the outset is a good place to start. Doing so will ensure a person in a good frame of mind to enjoy the rest of their day. This may be helpful to start each birthday by listing things to be grateful for in life. And this, this one, by making a special breakfast and doing something to start the day happily, are other suggestions so for that by watching movie in a bed or going for an early morning run yeah if someone has to go to work on their birthday they can consider treating themselves to beverage or other favorite treat on the way to add a little variety to their day yeah basically yes people will be busy on weekdays which is understandable because of work school or university stuff by college okay and next one will be find the best way to celebrate so for this one however birthdays are days where it is acceptable to be a bit selfish if someone loves extra vacant celebration then they should try to have that sort of a day if they prefer quality time with family then they could make arrangement so that happens instead on the other hand, uh, doing something on their birthday that they do not enjoy will make it harder for them to have a good time. So, try to find the best time to put on your plan, okay, for your birthday. So, the third one, don't over plan. Don't take too much plan. If too much. Oh, your plan plans are countable okay don't over plan it means don't take too many plans okay too many plans can be stressful and put additional pressure on your birthdays if birthday blues are an issue a person can try to keep things simple and easy to lower the risk of anything going wrong manage expectations 
While being realistic about what to expect from a birthday will help you to avoid disappointment. So for this, this may be especially true if it involves receiving phone calls from family members with whom a person may have a less than stellar relationship. Whatever kind of day it ends up being, a person should try to look for the positive side. Yeah, look for the positive sides and be thankful for any effort from your friends and family okay however small very small doing so will make them feel special no matter what okay so next keep busy you know um yes remember that part that i talked about when your friends are busy because of school college or work yeah if the birthday blues threaten to have a negative impact on someone it may be better to avoid the date altogether keeping busy and distracted will ensure that the day passes quickly and can be easily forgotten so a person can move on with their life yeah don't worry um if you guys are really brave enough to post on instagram well yeah you can post it on instagram you know you have to be brave because of your birthday okay yeah don't be shy just be brave if it's your day it's your day don't hide it okay if you hide it well no one knows otherwise people will thinking when is your birthday because yeah you you never see your friends birthday when you saw them hiding your birthday dates yeah so yeah you have to post the birthday post okay you have to be brave don't be shy all right don't be shy be brave all right next stay positive instead of mourning a lack of achievement and beating oneself up it is far more beneficial to focus on what has been accomplished in preceding years by doing so, a person is more likely to lift themselves out of the birthday blues and remember what makes them proud. Yeah, stay positive is the key, okay? And yes, not every people can be positive. But no one, no one, literally no one will ruin their birthdays being negative there. Yeah, stay positive to the birthday boys or birthday girls okay tell people if people are likely to forget about someone's birthday and there is no harm in reminding them before the day so yeah since everyone has their own time because busy yeah you can put it the the status on whatsapp or discord okay there is nothing wrong with alerting family and friends so that they remember to make a fuss on fuss of someone when their birthday arrives. Okay, next one set a sadness time limit. Why set a sadness time limit? Because it is okay to be sad sometimes, but wallowing in sadness all day is unhelpful for anyone. Struggling with negative emotions. Ah yes negative emotions yeah this is not a miraculous world guys so you don't need to worry about getting akumatized by monarch Sharomat or Hawkmat don't worry the show is just uh, people who will try their best to get thing away with negative emotions but don't worry since Hawkma, Shadow Mud, Monarch, they're not real, okay? They're just TV shows, okay? Yeah, Miraculous City Box Season 1 until 5, yeah. For those who always get the birthday blues, it might be a good idea. Yeah, just a TV show. Oh yeah, sorry for cut that. Yeah, just a TV show. Miraculous Lady Bug and Cat Noir. Anyways, let's uh, read this again. For those who 
always get the pretty blues yeah I run it on the note so to avoid uh, you know um, being forgotten what I'm trying to say so yeah anyways again for those who always get the birthday blues it might be a good idea just to accept that they might feel sad they can allow those feelings to come into their mind acknowledge them and then put them to one side and get on with the day in more positive frame of mind okay don't worry they will not forget you okay just be positive and don't feel sad too much it's okay to be sad okay but don't take it too much don't rely on others okay so being reliant on other people for happiness is never advisable a person should make exciting plans for themselves if there is a chance no one will remember their birthday there is nothing more positive than remembering to look after and love oneself after all be comfortable with grief sometimes it is important to grieve for things that have been lost whether that is sad things that have happened in life or just the passing of time well basically um yes um i'm gonna confess here so um i did make mistakes on people that make them upset okay and angry because of my stupid mistakes that i did in the past so and yeah on my birthday i decided to apologize to them and yeah the thing is apologize okay for what you did in the past it is helpful to allow them and allow them means allow time okay to grieve and make peace with these facts rather than fight against them turn the sadness into a learning experience some studies have shown the positive associated with getting older the positive sides about that part so one study which observed adults between the ages of 21 and 100 years old 21 and 100 years old yeah and it's impossible if you live to 100 years old okay it's impossible because uh, you will die in the age of either 50s or 60s well actually it's between 50s and 100 yeah because if you died in the age of 40s well you're gone too soon just like um, Paul Walker and Kobe Bryant yeah they passed away well for Paul Walker um, definitely 10 years almost 10 years ago on the way to 10 years ago which is 9 years ago and for Kobe Bryant yes passed away about Two hundred three three years ago yeah discovered that there's an improvement in self-reported mental health by those who are older another study showed that younger people tend to be more neurotic than older people even if someone is feeling unfulfilled or dissatisfied on their birthday instead of wallowing in it they can use it to reflect on what is causing them to feel this way it can then try to work out how to address the problems and negativity around these emotions do something special however so much a person hates or dreads their birthday they can make it better if they plan something for that day that cannot fail to bring them excitement they may think about booking to see a show get a massage or go out for a dinner Whatever is likely to lift their spirits, a distract from their sadness, they are feeling may help them feel better. So, yeah, do something positive, okay? Like, um, snorkeling, 
skydiving and any other sports that you guys really want to go for okay um, set some goals if nothing else people can use their birthdays to be productive if nothing else people can use their birthdays to be productive yeah if they write down some goals and some ways to change for the next year they can end the day on a positive note and feel inspired and motivated to have a better birthday next time around you might be asking is the birthday is it is the birthday really hard well mm, maybe yes maybe no but for most people birthdays used to be great fun when they were younger then they would count down the days until their birthdays and be full of excitement and wonder when they arrived people may have celebrated with presents had parties and enjoyed the fuss that our family and friends made on our behalf unfortunately as some people get older their birthdays can signify things that make them feel depressed they will prefer to try and ignore each birthday that passes and just get through it rather than do anything to celebrate but uh, yes that's how to get rid of the birthday blues okay but not only that okay um, yeah getting older is can be difficult adjustment okay and this is one of the reason why person might get a birthday blues yeah getting older getting older can be difficult adjustment which is understandable most people at a particular time in their lives will prefer to turn back the clock and stay youthful and being young forever or forever even forever it can feel as through the years start to pass more quickly wrinkles appear bodies change and people feel a sense of responsibility that they never felt in our youth hitting those birthday milestones such as 30 40 and 50 can make this more apparent it can feel as if life is passing by a frightening pace and each birthday is a reminder of how quickly time is running out not achieving enough so birthdays can be a time of reflection and for people with the birthday blues this can cause immense pressure if a person feels that they are not where they hope they will be in their lives this can be upsetting disappointment and feelings of worthlessness can creep in if people have not been able to live up to our expectations and these feelings can be hard to cope with on a birthday expecting too much Another reason a person might have the birthday blues is if they have high expectations on their day, which are impossible to meet. If they thought they would get a particular gift or there was going on to be a surprise party or something spectacular was going to happen, and these things fail to materialize, it is easy to think that perhaps people do not care. This elevated expectation can leave a person feeling insecure and unloved. And last day takeaway, while birthdays can feel stressful and depressing for some people, there is no reason why they need to be a, a sad occasion. It may help. It may help. It may help if people try to remember that a birthday can be anything they want it to be. If people can get rid of those negative feelings and make solid plans for their birthdays, these occasions can be fun again. So, hopefully this explanation understands you guys, okay? Yeah. So I explain how to get rid of the birthday blues as well as the reason why people can cause birthday blues, okay? Okay, to sum up, um, having a birthday is really exciting, but also can be happy or sad so don't 
overthink yourself if your birthday will be terrible, okay? Just be cool, okay? Just be cool. No need to hard feelings, okay? If you cause a hard feelings, well, you might cause anxiety, okay? You might cause anxiety. And possibly um, more negative emotions. So, lesson of the day, um, no one will forget your birthday, okay? Because they are busy um, or forget their birthday day yeah forget their birthday or their birthdays just put the reminder reminder on your status on whatsapp or discord okay yeah just like that okay okay guys so thank you guys for listening or I have to say thank you guys for watching this uh, have you ever video for episode 2 and uh, leave, a, leave a comment if you guys uh, have leave a, leave a comment if you have horrible birthdays okay and tell me what happened there for you guys if you had horrible birthdays okay just put it in the comments below and don't forget to leave a like guys as well as subscribe to my channel and share this video okay don't forget to share my first and second episode to your friends or family friends and family okay thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video take care